Well, hello everybody. My name is Hanneke Frankema. I'm from Holland and I had a flower shop for 10 years and I have been a freelance florist for I think now four years and I do a lot of competitions, demonstrations, lots of teaching all around the world and it makes me very happy to work with flowers every day. Oh, do you have any uh, family in your floral, floral industry? Um, well, I really don't have family in my floral industry. I'm really the first one. So, yeah, it's really new. Oh. Yeah, no, nobody in the family. So I really also, when I was uh, educated, I taught myself a lot of things. So I think that's really important that you also develop your own style. So what is your uh, motivation for the flower design? What is that? Uh, how can you start? Uh, well, for me it was because in Holland the education program is quite long, so you start with the basics and then you go further and further and further. And there is where I really learned that I had a um, talent for it. Um, so you really start at the beginning there and then you grow and you grow. Because before I didn't even know that you had a whole world of freelancers and competitions and that you could do demonstrations. So you start really simple, small, and then it grows in uh, in the years, I think. Um, yes. So please uh, let me say about your the Holland floral culture, the business part, or some long history is okay. Well, of course, uh, I'm a florist from Holland, and we have a lot of flowers there. Uh, but I think, to be honest, a lot of uh, uh, colleagues of mine from Holland. Uh, they are really spoiled, so they use lots of flowers in one arrangement and sometimes they make the stem really short and they stuff it really full. Uh, and I have a totally different style than the normal Dutch florist because I use the stems in, in a long way. Uh, I work really detailed, so in bridles of course you have short stems and you are gluing. But I think it's really important that you also uh, can work with less flowers. So for a, for a Dutch florist I don't use a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, do you have any person to respect about this area, this floristry industry or another part? Well, I think uh, I don't have really one role model, but I work a lot with Max van der Sluis. He's a really close friend of mine. Um, and we are really on the same level and the same page. Uh, so he also is my assistant for the Europe Cup. And normally when I call him, I say, well, this is the assignment and I have this idea. And, and he just knows exactly what I mean. So we're really on one level. We can work really well together. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, like I told before, I don't really had a, a master where I have learned everything. So I, I taught myself, so I, that's why I really have my own style. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think he's a very good florist, always innovative and a uh, really hard worker. So yeah, I, th I think it should be Max van der Sluis. Okay, normally without flowers, what do you do? As a hobby or something? Yeah, without flowers, well, um, I don't really have a hobby without flowers. I have a five-year-old girl, and of course I'm really happy to have her and to do really nice things with her. So I think you can call it my hobby. So when I have some time off, I will go to the park with her or go swimming or go to the beach or the forest. Uh, but next to that I have to work a lot and normally my designs take a lot of time to make because it's a lot of details, lots of techniques. So I'm really busy making all the frameworks in advance and think about new things to make, new techniques. Uh, so do you have, this is my own style and uh, different from others? Well I think my style is also when I talk to other people that I'm really good with colors. So I really always look for harmonious colors and I'm looking for the bridges between the colors. Um, like orchids, they have so many colors inside one flower. So if you have pink and salmon and brown and maybe hard pink inside the orchid, I will always look for different flowers with these colors to combine in one arrangement. So you have a really nice color combination. And I'm also really perfectionistic with techniques. And I love to work with wires. And for me, um, an arrangement, a flower arrangement, has to tell a story. I compare it often with a book. If you see an arrangement and it looks really interesting, the shape, I see that as the cover of the book. But if you look closely, you see little details, little techniques, little surprises, and those are the pages of the book. So I think the more pages that are in the book and in the arrangement, the more interesting it will be. And then, 
Do you have any advice to the young florist? Well, my advice to the young florist would be um, never stop trying. Especially because I did a lot of competitions and you will never win everything. And the first one you will be competing, you won't win it. And you have to just keep trying and keep going and you have to believe in yourself. Although sometimes someone might say, well, you're not a good florist and it's better to stop. But they have, they have to push it and work really hard, really hard. And if you, like if you have made a, made a big mistake at a competition or at school, it's a learning process. And I always say all your mistakes you can put in a suitcase. And later when you do another competition or you have your exam at school, you open your suitcase and you have your experiences with you and you won't make the same mistakes again. Wow. What is your favorite color? Well, uh, I don't really have one favorite color, but I really love gold and copper and rosé gold and salmon. A little bit the mixture of those things, but it often changes. I think when I first started as a florist, I really loved uh, to work with white and grey and green, but I think now it's really boring. I would never do it again. I really think it's nice and interesting to look at really harmonious and color combinations. Uh, but I think it changes often. Yeah. How about your favorite flowers? Well, everybody's asking me all the time what my favorite flower is, but I don't really have one. I think if you're a good florist, you can work with everything. Uh, and also that changes. I, I, I love Gloriosa and many people love it, but uh, sometimes I, I'm not using it for a year and I'm using something else. But I think, uh, like I said before, good florists can use everything and you can make something nice out of everything. So, okay. What is your very happy time? Well, my happy time, I have so many happy times with floristry, mm -hmm. um, but it, my biggest happy time was, I think, when I won, won the Dutch Championship last year. last year, yes, in September, yeah. yeah, because it was really high on my list, and I've done so many competitions, and I've won a lot of competitions, but going to the Europe Cup was really, really a dream of mine to go there, so I was really happy with this. Oh, okay, congratulations, and then, what is your hard time? Best. Well, well, the hard time, it's a little bit connected to the good time because four years ago I was second for the Dutch Championship and it was a really big disappointment because I was almost there and I gave my everything to it, my heart and soul and, it, and lots of energy and money of course and then just to be second with like zero points difference was really hard for me. So at that point I thought, well, I'm not doing any competitions anymore, I was a little bit mad. But, well, I did it again, I couldn't help myself, I had to do it one more time and I won. So, so the, the, bad, the bad experience became the good experience in the end. Ah, yes, you're a genius. <laughs> and then, please tell about, uh, we talked before, about the uh, competition, your opinion. What is the competition? Is good for? Well, I think competition is very important, also to visit them. You have lots of new techniques, new ideas, new kinds of flowers. You meet really nice flower friends. I think that's also very important that you have fun together. Uh, but for me, it helped me uh, become the florist I am today. Uh, because I also did some youth championships when I was really young. And it was, uh, you get a whole stage on, uh, in the whole world if you win some competitions. It starts with one competition and you can get in magazines. Then you do a small demonstration and then bigger ones and bigger ones and then you start teaching in schools all over the world. So for me it was the whole, um, yeah, I think winning competitions made me the florist who I am today. Uh, so this is, this is my double check. So you're the history about the flower, the design is uh, how many years? Uh, I have been a florist since I was 14. I started uh, to work in a flower shop and that's also when my education started. So I'm now a florist for I think 18 years, Next so a long time. Wow. And then, okay, thank you for the interview. Yeah, and you're welcome. Please uh, give us the 10th anniversary Leap Magazine and congratulatory speech, please. Okay. So for Leap Magazine, congratulations with your 10th anniversary. I think the magazine is beautiful. Uh, especially because it's really big, so you can see the pictures really well. So uh, I'm really proud uh, of them that they can make it for 10 years, and I hope the next 10 years will be great as well.